citizens of Ghana who have moved to other countries and have not been able to acquire either citizenship or, or uh, residence there become illegal and it will be very difficult for any uh, mission outside the country to um, interfere in the affairs of that country to regularize them. But um, we also need to engage countries that we, we know or we have evidence of them um, treating such persons in an inhumane manner. We need to engage them and, and, and ensure that the, these people, when they are arrested, are treated well according to human rights of any person so that they are brought back. And also um, to sensitize Ghanaians that it is not bad, things are not bad here. We are all here. You will find something to do and therefore um, come back home. I think that is something that our missions can can do, um, meet with Ghanaians and, and appeal to them to come back home. And when a Ghanaian decides to come, we will facilitate by ensuring that they, if they don't have a travel document, we prepare a travel document for, for such, such a person. But I think it will be difficult to, to intervene in, in the affairs of, of a nation. Indeed, it is true that Morocco has applied to join the African Union, rejoin the African Union. Um, Western Sahara is a member of the African Union. Um, we do have relations with all countries. So we do have relations with uh, Morocco. We do have relations with Western Sahara. Um, they are up to now, I haven't seen any document that is saying that Morocco wants uh, Western Sahara um, taking out of the AU and therefore I, I really can't speak much to that but they are coming their application has not yet been, um, been, been looked at by the African Union I'm not even sure whether at the summit coming up it will be one of the issues that will be discussed but let me say that Morocco is a friend so is Western Sahara. It will be difficult at this point to take a stand as I sit here because the issue of expelling uh, Western Sahara from the African Union, I don't believe has come up. I think by and large, uh, we haven't done badly as a country. Um, also that, as I said earlier, we are strong, as a country, we have played very leading roles um, in ECOWAS, in the AU. We've had our voices heard in the corridors of the UN. We have uh, taken the chair of the UN Security Council again, and, and it goes on and on and on. Um, I think we haven't done badly, and by and large, that is our foreign policy.